Well, back in this country, Congress plans to take a closer look at that tragic military helicopter crash that killed 30 Americans, including 22 members of the Navy's elite SEAL Team 6 force nearly two years ago after it was shot down by Afghan insurgents. Despite assurances from the White House, both Congressman Jason Chaffetz and families of some of the SEALs that were killed say they still don't have the answers from the administration on the specifics of that deadly attack. Joining us now, Charlie Strange, whose son Michael was killed, and his attorney, Larry Clayman. Gentlemen, welcome. Nice to have morning, you here today. Emma. Thank you. Charlie, let Good me morning. begin Thank with you. you. Thank you. I know this is a very emotional story for you. Of course, it hits home. This helicopter attack happened on that raid uh, on Osama bin Laden's uh, compound, in compound in Pakistan. The Pentagon provided families with information that it doesn't believe the SEALs were targeted following the death of Osama bin Laden. Why do you believe otherwise? I have uh, information. I have what they gave me. I have it right here in front of me. Um, what happened was they gave us uh, a book with no ink in it. There's, you can't read it. There's no toner. But they also gave us a disc, a disc that they wanted to ask back for the next day. Okay. And uh, but specifically, what is it? But specifically, what is it that you uh, the questions that you are raising about the concerns you have about that night? Well, they knew on this paperwork here that May 10th, 2011, that they were going to the Tangine Valley with 100 Taliban to shoot down the coalition force. And it's printed out. They knew. They knew they were coming to kill my son. Well, the Pentagon, of course, it's is disputing the that. The Pentagon is saying that the documents it has, the evidence it has, says that there was no evidence to support that the helicopter was targeted by those insurgents. Larry, let me ask you, what impact do you think a congressional spotlight will have on this situation now and the families who are seeking the answers? Um, it'll have a huge impact. This is not another phony scandal. This is the death of 22 Special Op Forces, 16 of which were our valued Navy SEAL Team 6 members. Yet these answers have never been forthcoming. Uh, from the president or from the administration. Well, do you have there evidence? Do you, do you have here. specific evidence that says that those uh, soldiers were not properly equipped with the right safety material, and also the a helicopter that was not properly equipped? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. In fact, it's yes. in that report that Charlie's referring to, where they state that uh, this helicopter was a Chinook. This was a 1960 vintage helicopter, not very maneuverable, which put these servicemen, these special ops, in harm's way. And number two, uh, we know that the black box of this uh, crash, and these are the unanswered questions, washed away in a flood. Well, there hasn't been a flood in that area of the world since Noah's Ark. So where is that black box? And Charlie's son, Michael, who was a Christian, uh, <coughs> was cremated, yet his body was intact. What was the rush to cremate bodies? In fact, they claim that all of the bodies that uh, resulted were completely destroyed and therefore not able to be buried. What was the rush to do all of that? It looks like there's a cover-up, Uma, and I believe that at the end of the day, given the fact that this appears to be retaliation from the death of Osama bin Laden, given the fact that people knew that there were Taliban in the area, given the fact that seven Afghanis were substituted out of the flight uh, right before it took off, yet we don't know who was inserted from Afghan, that this may have been uh, a setup by the Afghan well, government, the Afghan forces. Well, Larry, I, you know, uh, to, I know again we have to people. say we have to say that the Pentagon continues to say that it has no evidence to support some of these claims. Although I, I do know that Jason Chaffetz and other congressional leaders are saying that they do want to get to the bottom of this. They will hopefully hold a hearing shortly, and uh, we look forward to hearing what comes out of that uh, <coughs> investigation. Thank um, you. That's the reason for the hearing. Thank you. We we have we have the proof. We have 1,300 pages that, that describes the setup, the ambush. We have... Charlie, I, I know. I, yes. My heart goes out to you and on your loss, and um, we'll be following the story. Thank you very much. Turning now to...